Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is a general reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, let's get into your reading and see what the messages are for the remainder of March going into the month of April. I cannot even believe... We're already in the fourth month of the year. All right, Virgo, you've got seduction and you have photograph. Okay, somebody's looking at your photographs or you're seducing somebody <laughs> with your pictures. Okay, you've got the phoenix. Oh, the phoenix is rising. Somebody's phoenix is rising looking at your photos, Virgo. Okay, that's the first message. All right, Virgo, um, so there's definitely an attraction here. Um, there is flirting dating um hooking up temptation okay and photograph looking at your it's listen virgo somebody's looking at your photos thinking of you being nostalgic wants to make new memories with you and yeah the phoenix is rising here um there's a new phase a rekindling renewal transformation growth change mind i think you all know where i'm going with that okay um or this is you feeling this way looking at somebody else's pictures <laughs> okay so there's definitely something happening here okay now listen um don't cut me cut me some slack please because i know some of you don't have pictures anywhere okay well if you don't how are they looking at your pictures obviously the message isn't for you this is for those of you you know even if you don't have them anywhere but you somebody has a picture of you or something and you know they're either getting jiggy with it in their bed at night by themselves or you know they're they're looking at it they're seeing a photo or imagining images in their head of you that's it's just very very um a physically intimate start to this reading okay virgo uh, definitely somebody's just looking at something and feeling pretty good feeling like you're tempting them Virgo, are you tempting somebody with your photos? They're feeling tempted. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say, Virgo. Oh, my goodness. You guys in these readings express your love and passion. Wow. Okay. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, Virgo. Um, there's definitely... This is this reading, I can tell you right now, the way it's going. The direction it is going is a very physical um, chemistry um arousal kind of a reading happening here and you know hey sometimes that happens uh someone feeling very passionate for you and wants to express how you make them go boom <laughs> all right loving yourself first wow this person's loving you first that's i never got that message from that card but today we are getting that message um they want to be loving up on you first and only you and nobody else. Um, you're it, Virgo. Um, they want to give it to you, Virgo. Uh, they want to give it to you. They want to have a little, a little boom boom, a little time with you. Okay. Now, some of you might know this person at school or at work. Okay. First thing I'm going to say. Um, let's take a look here and see what's going on. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So I feel like this person is heavily distracted when they see you. Um, they look at you like, I don't know if you're popular or you, um, I mean, they really admire you too, Virgo. You know, even if it's not pictures, they just kind of like have a photographic image of you in their head as well if they see you in real life. Who is this person? Um, okay, so... All right, they're just saying like whatever you want to show them, they want to be like the A plus student in your sex class, Virgo. <laughs> they want to be, they want to perform, they want to learn you, they want to be like the the winner of making you happy, of pleasing you, of doing whatever. Okay, let me see. I, I'm trying to be PG here because I do have sponsors, you guys, but I don't want you to suffer and not get the message. All right, let me see what else is going on. All right, this card is definitely trying to... All right, yeah, show yourself. Reveal it. This person wants you to reveal yourself to them in more ways than one. Um, Virgo, like, I can't with this reading. 
There's definitely for some of you some kind of a reconciliation or an opening up. This is a card of revelation. And I'm sorry, but that that's just the energy that I'm getting. Like this person wants you to reveal everything to them. They want to see you. They want to see everything, not just the photo, not just the image in their mind. Oh, wow. They just think you are so like attractive. Mm. Uh, is this a secret that this person? Yes, they keep it a secret. They, uh, but it, I feel like for some of you, this might come out. I mean, this person wants to, for some, okay. Um, they want to share a baby with you or share a child with you. I know some of you are like, I am not doing that. Okay, um, that's not for everybody. But, all right, we've got the magician here. So, you cast a spell on this person, Virgo. Like they are, if you were to look at them, their eyes, their eyes are like spinning, like swirly spinning when they think of you or when they see you. Um, this person's got it for you pretty bad. Virgo, who is this? Okay, so we could have a Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini. Also, uh, I'll say that as energies, but the first court card will probably be more specific as to who it is. Okay. Um, all right, I will tell you some of you are already friends with this person um, or you've dated or you are dating at this time, but um, uh, they definitely want to connect and they're going to try to manifest some kind of connection with you here um, and a very creative way to get together, I see, which, you know, it looks like it's just meeting. For some of you, it could be meeting for the first time or doing something together. Um, I just started taking turns. I don't know what that means, taking turns. Okay, you could, like I said, you may already know them. Some of you might work in like a, uh, we have the caduceus here, so it could be like a hospital or a doctor's office. Um, there might be a connection there. You meet this person. Um, this kind of feels like, it's like the image on the front of an ambulance. So I don't know what the heck that means. All right, let me see. And we've got strength. All right. Mm. All right. They just, all right. I don't know. Listen, just go with it. Go with it. I'm hearing pet the kitty. <laughs> I'm 10. I'm hearing pet the kitty. They want to pet the kitty. Are you, somebody has a cat or a dog as well. Um, bring your cat. They're saying, bring your kitty along. <laughs> I'm in fourth grade. I know. I know. It's crazy. I'm a fourth grader. Let me stop. Okay. Oh my goodness. Guys, like seriously, with this reading, um, <laughs> I'm not even going to say that because that just is raunchy, but I will tell you like, um, <laughs> look at the way this person is sitting. It's like, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Virgo, uh, this person, it is a very passionate, physically and temp tempting kind of thing like this person wants to just get it on like some sexual healing is what I feel is going on here Virgo and or I know Virgo's down for that but I mean it is like coming out of the blue it could be a Leo um all right, let me see what's going on oh yeah you're gonna be getting some communication very soon sometime around April 8th you will be hearing from this person um now, it could be any of the signs that I said, um, or somebody that you already know, or that you may have gone on a date with before, connected with before, um, but it's not like, it's not so direct, you know what I mean? Like, it, like you'll be able to tell that this person, like, you're a wish for them, you'll be able to tell that there is a strong attraction um, from this person, but it's not going to be like, they're going to hand you a couple of dollars and expect you to go to the hotel room. It's not going to be like that at all. There's going to be some whining and dining and romance and spending time together. And there's definitely uh, like, I don't feel like this person is going to push themselves on you or anything like that. It's just going to be this, wow, you are so like, I dream about you at night, or I, I've been thinking about you, or I, you know, I imagine and, and I just want to kiss you. And like, it's all that energy playing out like someone just crazy attracted to you okay <laughs> and Virgo's like the f off of me <laughs> hold on now I'm gonna need to check your credentials wait a minute have you been with other people you're gonna have to give me an STD report Virgo's like 
<laughs> back off hold on slow it down slow your roll joe yeah there there is definitely a little bit of you just kind of being like uh, maybe playing hard to get being a little defensive um but it's not a bad thing yeah here are you showing up here in uh queen of wands energy so you're just kind of like listen you know i know i'm attractive i know but you know you can't just you know uh, Virgo, you're going to milk it. That, that's kind of what I feel like is going on here. You're just going to milk it a little bit. Like, it's a feel-good thing for you. And who wouldn't? Who who wouldn't want someone, like, who doesn't want to feel good? Who who doesn't want someone to feel attracted to them? You know, especially, like, I don't know what you're doing, Virgo. Um, maybe you're, like, I don't know, lifting weights or, you know, picking up the weight bar. Maybe you're taking care of yourself. You're, you're doing something, some kind of physical activity. You are making yourself look better, possibly. Glowing, for sure. You've got all this yellow around you. And there you are. And you're glowing with your little black kitty, if you know what I mean. Or if you're a guy, you know, whatever. There you are, like, stretching your staff. You're doing whatever, right? You're making yourself, like, in a much... I don't know. You're doing the physical thing. Okay. Listen, I don't... These are not predetermined for me, okay? And it's funny how things work out. I have to just keep that to myself. But I listen, with this temptation card and the phoenix rising and, you know, the, the whole passion and all this stuff going on, when these messages come out, believe me, and you guys know, I, I don't give messages like this every single day, and I'm here a lot. Um, but when these messages come out, there there's something going on here. Like there's kismet or something in the stars where, you know, we had Cupid's arrows here with the eight of wands. It, it might just be all of a sudden. There you go. Look at that. There's definitely a new love start happening here. Like my cup run us over. Maybe some drinks or someone just spills it a lot. There's just a lot of like, oh, Virgo. I mean, have fun and have fun. I think you're, this feels like a new, like a new start. And that's Cupid's arrows. Like I said, you know, keep it struck and it's like out of the blue it's like all of a sudden right that's what this is here out of the blue just fast and furious this this attraction of this love thing starts and this physical thing starts and it's emotional too or i think you're gonna just really be enjoying this so um you know at least in the first week of april but i'm feeling like around april 8th you're gonna get some kind of inclination or something from somebody who is just enamored with you and yeah they're watching you oh yeah they could be standing behind the corner of the 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 wall they're peeking at you they're looking at you somehow some way okay and you're i feel like you're gonna feel good right you have an admirer all right oh seriously now for somebody who's a past person it could be like i said but you've got someone here who's like coming in very sincere you know when i say past person this like who cares who it is right it's it's it, for some of you someone from your childhood um for others this is someone as friends of a sibling for others this is someone that you um you knew before you dated before uh, you know it, it, and it could just be somebody that you just recently met last week or you know last weekend or a few days ago you know the past is the past so um you may not have ever dated them as well you may have just known them so um a lot of sincerity and innocence in this person um I'm not seeing some, I'm not seeing like player vibes or anything like that. Or just like I said, somebody showing up here is just like, they're awestruck. This is how I feel. This person is showing up like completely awestruck. Okay. Could be a Virgo for some of you. Could be connecting with another Virgo. Um, oh, I don't know, Virgo. I feel like for you, um, you and this person, the one thing you have in common is like you're pretty serious like this person is serious for sure i, I don't feel like this like they think either they've been thinking about approaching you or communicating with you or sending a message or something um maybe they already did but this person's had you on their mind for quite some time okay let me see tell us more there you go remember i was saying the caduceus it just kind of reminded me of that but that for me, that's always like an ambulance. I don't know why. But for some, this person's a driver. Um, they could be a driver or they, um, 
they're coming out of town or there's travel involved or they just got a new car or maybe you did but there is something here with movement action and change so uh yeah virgo this is like someone this person already knows they've already got their sights set on you um, and they're coming towards you for sure. All right. So it looks exciting. I feel like you're going to feel pretty darn good about these feelings um, that someone has like a very crazy attraction for you. Maybe you're not doing anything. Some of you might not like you. you who knows? You, it's just a, an aura or a vibe that this person sees with you. And uh, it is what it is. It just happens. And it might be a little bit like, whoa, wait a minute. It might feel a little strange to you if you're not used to that. Um, but it, it just, I don't know, Virgo. Okay. Time to decide about this relationship. So you're definitely going to be in decision mode here. Um, but a decision that's like the lovers, you know, and that's being transparent and open and being vulnerable. Um, an opportunity is going to come here where you're going to have to decide if you want to like move things along with this person. They're definitely making the decision and choosing you for sure. Um, and, and they're not even choosing you there. You've already been chosen. I feel like for this person and they know it and they just want to, it's safe to trust in this situation. Very good. Very, very good. I love it. I don't see any mischievous or anything negative coming from this person. Okay, support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Okay, Virgo. So uh, your friends are going to play a huge role in what will be occurring with this person. Um, so maybe it's like advice for you. I don't know why you would need advice or it could be excitement um, or it could be just like you talking to your friends and being like, guess what happened or guess what's going on or guess who I met and that kind of thing. And this person is like, uh, I could just tell that they're, you know, either they tell you they're into you or um, some of your friends might even know about this and be telling you as well. Um, let me see. The hidden truth. All right, I'm just gonna pull a couple of these because I don't know. I don't know who this message is gonna be for. All right, I know I messed up everything. So if you had a past thing with someone, um, they realize they screwed something up here. Um, um, they've been afraid to contact you, and that's why that you haven't heard from them. All right, let's see, and hide behind material things okay so this person's had some struggles um that's what's going on but i feel like all of that's going to be changing virgo with this person like they are 100 percent um they've definitely been hiding like with that hermit energy um they've been hiding they've been kind of fearful but they can't resist like i just feel like they're so attracted to you and um they want to be your first love or love you first um and they're very attracted to how you're loving yourself first as well um and i feel like there's going to be some kind of an expression of either passions or feelings you know to some degree um even something along the lines like i'm really feeling you i, I keep feeling you Okay, moving to a safe place you have, and, okay, no contact, yeah. So, you might have been no contact with this person. Um, things are changing, definitely, for them. Okay, moving to a safe place. They might be relocating or coming, um, uh, th there's a future moving in together, for sure. Okay, let's see. You got head of household. Take charge of your divine masculine energy. Father figure guide you. Strive for respect, dignity, power. Influential male support you. So either you've got like a father figure in your life who's, you know, um, giving you guidance on how to be a better man or, or, or a mentor or something or um, for this person and or just for yourself. And that's causing someone or some people to be crazy attracted to you or you um this person is coming in as being more stand up and assertive and coming after you, right? Um, or at least coming towards you and not hiding anymore. Okay, one more card here. We've got committed love relationship. Yeah, it's going that direction, Virgo. Definitely going in that direction. So, you ready? Virgo, are you ready? Freddie, are you ready for this? Something amazing? something passionate something um physical something emotional a great great connection um a lot of fun playful energy being really good together are you ready for this virgo all right let me see the chinese signs okay 
starting off with the rabbit year of the rabbit now remember this could be you it could be the other person it may not be either of you or it could be both of you okay we've got year of the rat year of the rooster the phoenix is rising somebody's phoenix is rising and beginning really april 8th that's what i'm feeling okay let's have a card Is that it? Seriously? Usually I pull the cards, but I wanted them, I wanted spirit to. All right. Okay, and a snake. Snake, rooster, rat, and a rabbit. All right, let me see. Just, nope, we're gonna leave it. All right, no, they're saying no. Just they're saying, be patient. Snake again. That's a double confirmation. Dog. You're the dog. Okay. Let me see. All right. They're saying just pull up. Okay. Monkey. Tiger. Rail. And a horse. Okay, you guys. So if you're any of those signs, this is a confirmation that this is for you. Um, or if your person is any of these signs, if you don't know who this is, you don't know their sign and your sign's not here, don't worry about it. There's other confirmation to come in. All right, let's get into, gosh, this reading is going so fast because I feel like it's like right to the point. It is right to the point. This person, listen, we don't need to go deep with this. I mean, this person is feeling you. They are digging you. They are like, really 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 into you and they want to explore and they want you to reveal yourself whether you know strip down <laughs> or just open your heart no matter what it is like it's just straight and to the point and i just feel like the energy you know spring is a time of you know the bunny rabbits go at it in the spring you know what i'm saying spring is a time of like I forget the word. I forget the term that we always use, but you know, it's mating season. It's not cuffing season. It's mating season, right? Or it's birth. It's birth. New things are beginning in the spring. There's new birth. There's new growth, new beginning. It's not necessarily mating season, but will be for you. So let me see if we can get some uh, names and randoms, random messages. Okay. So we've got the letter h so someone's name has uh, initial h we have j e jennifer jen um jerry jerry look at the baby okay let me say j a j letter oh we got h again okay Hmm. Um, okay, there's someone here who, so something to do with a wheelchair. I have to say that. Okay, because it's pretty obvious. Something here. They're connected to a wheelchair. Either they're in one or they're around them somewhere. Okay. Um, I'm also here seeing like pansies, the flower, and um, some dolphins. Something to do with a dolphin. It's very significant. Maybe they live somewhere or somebody lives somewhere where there's dolphins like all around. Like where I live, there's no dolphins unless you go to the aquarium <laughs> in the city. There's no dolphins where I live. But so somebody lives near where there's dolphins. Okay, what else? I'm also picking up Pisces for some. Oh, okay. Wow, crazy. Um <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Um, Mina. Mina or Mena or uh, or M E N M or Mandy. It's something or Mendy or Wendy. Something along those lines. Those those lines. And um, July fourth. They're telling me 
Independence Day, um, whenever you celebrate, it doesn't have to be Independence Day. It was, it's, it's a celebration with fireworks. So wherever there's fireworks, um, that's significant to somebody. Okay, wherever there's fireworks, that's significant to somebody. Okay. Um, and then we have uh, the letter C. Somebody's initial with the letter C. Um, maybe Charlie or Cindy. Okay. Or or Chu. Chu or, or Shu. I can always get that. Okay. Um, let's see what else do we have here. This video, is, this reading is going to be so short tonight. But it's all right. It is what it is. I don't know what you're doing, Virgo, but you are your aura and your vibes, you are attracting like none other. You're gonna be fending people off this spring for sure. Okay. Somebody's a Gen Xer. Definitely. Someone is a Gen Xer. So if you know what year that you know, nineteen eighty seven is significant also. Um, but somebody's a Gen Xer. Either you or the other person. Um, I don't know when that the dates for Gen X are, but, um, well, you know, we do the 80s over here, so something to do with being a Gen Xer, um, or someone calls themselves that, or they, they, they see that somewhere written, um, okay, what else? Okay, and they're just giving me, someone lives, um, oh, somewhere where there's farm, um, in rolling hills and farmland, maybe in the Midwest. I don't know. Isn't that flat? Is there hills in the Midwest? I've never been in the Midwest. Um, somewhere there's like farmland, patches, squares. It could be anywhere in the world, actually. Um, where I don't know if there's like collard growing or there's lines of vegetables. It's not. A, it could be a horse farm too, or it could be a wine a vineyard or something. But I'm just seeing like where. People, there's farming, connected to farming, or someone is a, works on a farm. Um, oh, I would love to have a farm with chickens and ducks and pigs. That would make me so happy. I would love to work on a farm all day. I would just love that. Grow plants and flowers and cabbage. Okay. All right, somebody definitely does something with a roulette wheel or lives near where there is, are roulette wheels or um, a gambling of some sort. And again with the Gen Xer, but we do have the letter G here, so that's very significant. Gina, um, I don't want to single too many people out, but somebody's name starts with the letter G. Gino or maybe a Gennaro. Uh, could be first initials, last. I'm also picking up the letter L. I'm seeing that. Okay. All right. Huge Aries vibes they're giving me right now. Very strong Aries vibes. I'm not sure why. Again, I'm picking up April 8th, you guys. April 8th to the 13th. Like up at least until the 13th. There's something going on there. Okay. And uh, rugby. They're telling me rugby. Something to do with rugby. Okay. So I don't know. Do you play rugby? Or someone you know plays rugby? Okay. Let's get your dice. Okay. So Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Taurus. Okay, we'll put those aside. And uh, August birthdays. August 30th and the 31st. I'm not seeing any, August, any other August birthdays yet, but I'll, I'll roll the dice again and we'll see. Um, we have September 15th and the 10th, also the 8th and the 6th. And um, somebody is 58. Somebody was born in 85. Somebody is 35. Um, they're also giving me the number 610, as per usual, and 858. And uh, last four digits of number 3500. Okay. More signs. 
Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus. Capricorn twice there. And one more. Okay. Aries, Gemini, Leo, and Virgo. Okay. So we'll leave that there. And let's see what other dates you guys have. Okay. Lucky sevens. 777, or someone's born in 1977, or has a lucky number, 77, um, 6059, okay, and 708, right, could be an area code, could be first three digits of a number, or somewhere in your phone, um, also, international calls 60 and 59, two separate numbers, hope you can keep up with that, Steve, but thank you, and, um, one zero seven zero eight okay significant um and <clears throat> someone's born in 1970 and we also have august 27th and 28th it looks like we're hitting all the almost all the august birthdays 25th 29th <laughs> and so oh, 24th and Okay, somebody's 54 or 45 and okay sorry you cuspers nothing there for you all right and september 18th they just told me okay now let's get your charms let's see what else you need to know here virgo for your charms okay what is this oh okay um somebody eats clams <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so r-rated Somebody enjoys the clam and they try to get the pearl. Oh, clench my pearls. Yeah, somebody, okay, I know, don't ask me. It's something to do with the pearl and clams or somebody shucking some clams or mussels. Somebody likes mussels. You like mussels? So you're getting some mussels and some clams. All right, let me see what else. <laughs> these readings, I can't anymore with these readings. Oh, okay. So you have a gold feather, okay significant for someone a gold feather represents an angel wing if you see a feather anywhere like a lone feather if it's gold yo pick it up um it could be a gold leaf it could be a necklace charm on a necklace but if you see a gold feather or just a feather anywhere um your angel is asking you to pick it up and hold on to it because this is a blessing coming in here for you and also um let me have a look hold on all right, we've got a bottle, a bottle of perfume that says number five on it. I don't know if you can see it. So I only know of perfume. Is that a five or a three? Can't tell you guys. Maybe you can see it. Number five. So obviously, I mean, that's Chanel, number five. That's the only perfume. So maybe you wear that or you have Chanel number five. Um, yeah, you might wear it. I mean, you might receive a gift of that as well. Um, or you'll connect with someone who wears Chanel number no. five. So there is definitely marriage in your future here with this person. That's Taurus energy. But there is definitely long-term commitment as well coming with this person. And I just felt like I needed to give you the outcome here. Um, and I see also like some kind of spiritual or religious organized type of wedding or um uh, marriage or, or something along those lines and i know uh it doesn't mean it will happen it could just be something on the table going forward but the long term the commitment the conformity all of that is definitely there it could just also mean um tying the knot in a federal or a legal building or a state building or something along those lines for some of you long in the future long in the future um definitely not in april it, it could be though it could be small small chance some of you might actually get a proposal in april if that's what you're wanting okay and like i said it doesn't have to be marriage but it can be like i'm so into you i, I don't like let's do this let's just it could be like exclusive kind of a relationship but it's it definitely has an element of committedness to it and loyalty and and truth and honor okay virgo <clears throat> enjoy <laughs> <clears throat> looks like that'll be a lot of fun for you um i'm gonna leave that there though so don't forget join me on sunday if you want to get um if you become a member of my channel then you will get free readings on sunday all you have to do is pop in the chat but you have to be a member not a subscriber a member join the channel 9.99 a month 
comes right out of your bank account. You just pay it. You don't have to do anything. It's automatically deducted, and you can just pop in and get mini readings with me. I'm not doing personal readings for new people. Um, that's closed off. So if you're a former um, person who's reached out to me, former client or what have you, and you want to get a personal reading again, you may continue to do so. Um, I'll be sending out an email to everybody to let you know that um, I'm still taking readings for people who have already booked with me in the past. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on for now. Keep mindful also of the spammers. The comments are closed until YouTube does something with them because I know a lot of you are losing money and you know, um, I feel bad that that's happening to you, but I can't help you. I feel worse that I can't help you with that. I really do. It just breaks my heart when you guys, but it doesn't break my heart when someone says, Hey, I'm going to report you. I'm just kind of like, well, you're, you're really not because I, I'm going to win because I never got your money. So I just feel like chill, you know, like you got to be, and I don't want to be preachy. And I know we all get scammed sometimes, but I mean, just be diligent and discerning. And somebody's trying to ask you, like, if you know me, you know my channel, you know what I say in my readings, you know the description box below, you know my website. There's no other way to book with me unless you go to my booking site. You can't just send me money because I'll tell you, you keep it. I don't want it. You got to book with me first. That's that's how it works. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave that there. I will see you all back here, hopefully tomorrow. Um, yeah, have a great night. Thanks for all being here. Thanks, everybody, in the chat. And I'll see you especially on Sunday. Take care. Bye.